hello there guys now in this video we are going to look at product details dot view so from our ongoing um, Laravel 10 and e-commerce 3 we have been able to design uh, different components such as the login and uh, logout we have also been able to design the product list as well as the edit and as well as the other one else so we have been able to do the add product the edit and login.view navbar uh, product list register view and other js files here within our view uh, application with the laravel 10 using rest api now if you are new to this you are watching this video for the first time i've been doing this in a form of a series so you may want to go and check my youtube channel so that you can so that you can follow along from where i began and uh, you'll be good to go so today we look at the product details dot view and um, here what we want to do is to enable us to be able to see a detailed um that is what are the details of our particular product within our uh, rest api remember i'm using um postman for for the that is for the rest api and this is what we are for example the product to the id of one is this so what we want to do is that when somebody clicks on this id he can be given the details of that particular product for example the name description price and so forth so now let's begin here so let's just begin right away so i've opened my the, of course the application itself as well as the backend which is now the laravel 10 that we are using for um, for communicating with it so that we can be able to get uh, the product details and uh, all all the other things that we need within our product so let's just begin so here i'm going to have template as usual and then within the template we are going to have a div here and this div is going to use the view v if which is equals to product so here i'm going to give it product then i'm going to have a class here for styling so this is going to be product uh, details like that and then i'm going to close this so what do i mean here so the v if is a directive that will render this container based on if the product is truth in other words um once you're able to identify the the id by clicking this id for example product with the id of one uh, so the vif is going to check if there's the name description and price within our backend so that you can show us the details of that uh, product so that's what we have within our vif and then the next part here is i'm going to have an h2 and then this h2 is going to be h2 then class and then here we're going to give it just take this one out so here we're going to have h2 class and then it's going to be product title and then here we're going to have so the first part here we're going to have is the is the product uh, name so we're going to have the product name so if the v if which is going to check uh, the product details to show if there is something or not so the first part if there is uh, from our api we show the product dot name as our first part and then the next one here we're going to have is the p for paragraph and then here we're going to have a product uh, description like this and then here we're going to have these two so here we're going to have the product uh, dot description so that should be dot description right and then here next what we have is the p again and this p is going to be p class uh, so we are going to have the product and this is going to be now the price of that product like that and then here we're going to have the price and this price is going to be this way it's going to be this like that and then here we have the product uh, dot price like that so what we mean here is that um, we are just now using this one to append in other words uh, we are identifying the product that is the price of the product and then of course the, the product and name so th that is the product price so that's what we have there so the next part here we go to is the is on the script so on the script part here of course now what you want to do here we want to 
to do first of all we're going to import the axios uh, so the axios is there and here we need to have it like this we need to have this sign so that we can get it from where it is and then once we import axios remember axios is for our http request so we're going to have export default uh, so export default there we have data i'm going to use data here within our options api uh, so here i'm going to return so we return that and then here i'm going to have the product so the product here is null which means of course it's empty so the product is null and then of course here we can close this and here we'll have a comma so that i can give another method now so somebody may be asking why am i returning product null remember the data is the one that is defined so that once we get the product the uh, details from our api we can populate this data uh, this product uh, data with whatever we have found within our api and in this case this is the product uh, details or the product data in in other words so we are setting it to null so that it can be empty for us to start with and once we use our api to get the products then we can populate it so the next part here i use is the async uh, mounted like this and um, here i'm going to have something here so here i'm going to define this variable const product uh, id like that and then i'm going to set it it is equals to this dot uh, route should be this way dot route and then dot params dot uh, id and the reason we are setting it dot route in other words what we want to do here is that we want to get the product id from the route params so what do we mean so when we define mounted this basically means that we are setting the component to be ready in the browser for the first time so that once we fetch our products from the api now the component can re-render so as to display the products that's all uh, that's what we mean by the mounted so when you hear the word the keyword mounted basically it means that you are setting the component to be ready within your browser here for example this is the component for login so this component will always re-render based on whatever um whatever action that you take for example here when you log in of course it will call the api uh, so once you append the login here to go to the to the laravel and get the details for the login and then uh, that is of course the, the authentication of the email and password and then of course the component will render and then it will take you to the necessary page that you need to go to so the same case appears here so here we get the the id so here basically the route params here basically we want to get the id of that given product here and then once we get that id we can now uh, since the component is mounted we can now re-render the the component so as to display the products details so here once that is done here i'm going to use a try i'm going to have a try like this so i'm going to have const then I'm going to have response is equals to await. And then here I'm going to have axios dot get like this. And then here I'm going to have this back ticks. So basically here we are just now getting the products from our API. So here we need to have that dollar sign. And then here we need to have the product uh, ID like this. So the product ID, of course, is this one we have defined here. So we call the get so as to get a product ID. In other words, to get a product with a particular ID, it could be number five, could be number 10, and then get the details of those products using this API. All right, so once that is there, we can now do this we can now have this dot product uh, so we have that and then this one is equals to response dot data so what do we mean here this product of course we mean now we are calling this variable here this one here and then when you say this dot data here we basically mean that once we get the product uh with a given id of let's say say number five here 
what we do here is that we are now saying return uh in other words we are getting return this product dot response data basically we are now populating this product which we had set to null with the given details of the products that we have so this one with the product of five of one sorry will now be populated within this uh we're going to return this data here and then populate it there so that now within our component using the v if here it can now check do we have uh anything uh within our um, our data here and of course if it's there it is going to display the the name of the product description and the price i believe it's easy to understand so um so once we do that i believe now that is that is done so don't need to go more the next part is i always do is just to identify if there's an error when for example you are trying to fetch uh, that uh, particular product to the given id so here we're going to have co console and then here you just need to set something like this we're going to say an error uh, card while fetching so if there's an error when we are fetching the, the product we're going to have this uh, defined so we're going to have this and then here we append that so that you can give us the error that we get this needs to be like this and then this needs to be set that way three of them so i believe this is okay then we save now this now once we save that uh there's something else we need to do now so now we need to go to our router.js here router.js and then there's something that we're going to do within our router.js here so we're going to set this so where we have this let me copy this and then just down there we are going to do something like this so here we have edit product i'm going to change this to product and then i'm going to have this like this so here we identify the product id then we return the component which is a product so this is product uh, details so this is same the same name here is what i'm writing and then then the product details and then as well as here we also have uh, product details like this so i'm also going to return this that way and then this is going to remain as false because if you are not logged in then you can't access this component or you can't be able to see so that's what we have and then here i need to import this component here in our router.js so what i need to do here is just to have this product uh, details and then we are importing it from component slash the product details so we need to have it that way now there's something else now you can see for example now when we log in here uh, and we go to the you can see there's nothing you can't see so we need to establish uh, a button here so that once we click we can see now the details of shoes for example so what i need to do is that i need to go to product list you can see last time we did on uh, we added the edit the edit link so here i'm also going to do the same thing so what i'll do here is that um, so this is what we have so we have uh, okay so let me copy this so i'm going to copy this and then down here just below it i'm going to place it below it so i'm going to have um, going to have a details link for css styling going to have details link and then here we are binding it to in other words we are binding it to our route params from the route js so here just like we did for edit product we are also going to give the product uh, details like this and then here we're going to have the params and then we have the id and then the product id and then here we change this to view uh, details so we change it to something like this so the name so two is a so two is a vbind so we are using the view uh, vbind directive which is 
actually we are using the view vbind directive which is this short and which is this colon so as to to bind the two with the properties of uh, our route data and our route data of course within the router js we have the path that is uh, let's access the so we have the path the name the component uh, so these three so we are just using that the vbind the colon which is the vbind within the view and then the two so as to bind now the props or that is the properties uh, of our um, component with the route uh, data here okay so that's what we have and then i'll save this like this and then let's check what we get okay so this is what we have so you can see the component renders so it's now so that is called now the mounting so it can show what is now uh, so you can see the product with id of one id of three i don't know if you can check somewhere here but let's click the product itself okay okay so there's an error here cannot read the properties of undefined reading description okay so let's just check the error okay so um so let's go back to product details to view okay so the here there's a spelling so i never uh, finished this so it's product name product description product price all right so now this is what we have so we have shoes butter shoes and price is 12. so when you go back again to another product okay so this is what we have and then uh, what else this product here as well so we are about now to see this so let me quickly add the stylings so these are the stylings for my so here i'm going to have style uh, scoop and then here i'm going to to code paste so basically here i just have several things so yeah so here i have um, two styles so here i have this so basically product details product title description product price of course this is what i've defined within as a class so this is what we have title description and a price so i save that one and then uh, let's see uh, okay so this is what we have just some kind of uh, them to appear a little bit more yeah so that is what we have and i believe you have got something from this tutorial and from this series so like this channel uh, subscribe share this video and don't just watch and go uh, share it with somebody it, uh, it can be helpful to someone else and let's meet in the next video